Aisha, 11, is a bright, confident, popular girl with lots of interest. She loves drama and she sings in a local church choir. She's a stellar performer at school and all her teachers say they expect great things from her. Her brother Winston, 16, is the opposite. His exams are coming up and he doesn't appear very motivated. The only thing he seems interested in is playing basketball and going down to the park smoking dope with his friends. I'm looking forward to girls' grammar next year. I hear they have dance classes as PA. I don't know why Winston messes about so much. You've got to go to school, so you should just try your best. Aisha, yeah. She's always been the brainy one. I'm not a geek, I'm just a normal guy. I hang around with my mates, we have a laugh. We don't do any harm. Aisha and Winston live with their mum and dad. The dad's a local GP and the mum's a health visitor. They're a religious family who go to church every Sunday. But apart from Christmas and Easter, Winston doesn't go anymore. When he was younger, Winston used to like school. But in recent years, he's shown less and less interest. His parents often remark that they wish he could be more like his sister. Both his parents are worried about him. My mum and dad are always on at him to get his act together, but he never listens. Me, I'm fine. I just keep my head down and get on with it. They don't bother me too much. They never stop. You won't amount to anything if you don't put her down at school. Then I saw Aisha this, Aisha that. I'm just not like them. I have my own things. I'll get something sorted. Aisha and Winston's parents had to work hard to get where they are. They had hoped that their kids would follow suit. They often used to tell stories how they struggled to get an education and to make a go of it as a mixed race couple. Winston told his parents that it was just not like them. He didn't seem interested in learning or in finding a career. One day the police came. Winston and his friends had been found with a small amount of dope. His parents think his friends are to blame. They've heard a couple of them have been in trouble with the police. And they've made it clear to Winston that he shouldn't be hanging around with lads like that. Man, it's not right. They're always on my case. They never even met me friends and automatically they're to blame for what I do. What do they know? I'm no sheep. I do my own thing. Dad will go spare if you know. But it's Winston that gets the stuff for his friends. I've seen him buy it, but I'll never tell. Winston started showing up with cuts and bruises. Although they're quite obvious, he hadn't mentioned them. His dad contacted the school. But they said they hadn't noticed any changes in his behaviour. When they confronted him, Winston simply said that he'd been hurt playing basketball and there was nothing to worry about. My dad was worried, but I don't get it. Winston's pretty tough. He can take care of himself. If he had a problem, I'm sure his friends would help him sort it out. I mean, no one ever messes with me if they know Winston's my brother. A few cuts and bruises. I can handle it. Anyone can get roughed up now and then. It's nothing. One day, Aisha was going to drama class when she saw some white youths attacking Winston and calling him a nigger. They were kicking, punching and spitting on him. And although Winston was trying to defend himself, he was fighting a losing battle and was reduced to begging and crying for mercy. Aisha ran away, terrified. I was just so scared. I ran and hid. I didn't even call for help. I'm not sure whether Winston saw me. I'm such a coward. I'm supposed to be a man. Things like that aren't supposed to happen to me. It's happened three times and I thought my mates would back me up, but they're all talk. I know he just saw me. I used to be a big brother, and now she thinks I'm weak. Winston gave up dope and stopped hanging around the park. Started going to the gym and took up boxing. He seemed to be arguing with his parents more than ever. But his dad was pleased that at least he seemed to be developing healthier interests. Aisha began to change. Her first reports from a new school weren't as good as expected. She gave up her drama classes and even the choir. She wouldn't talk to her parents about it. They tried all kinds of things to get the old Aisha back, but nothing worked. Eventually, they put the changes down to hormones. It's better to keep a low profile. I'm new, and I'm the only black girl in the class. I'm not tough. If they can do that to Winston, then what chance have I got? I don't want them to turn on me. I promise it'll never happen again. The next time they try, I swear they'll regret it. Who could I tell? The police are useless. They'd run me off rather than help me. They already think I'm trouble. I have to be able to take care of myself. Aisha's parents began to notice that she wasn't sleeping properly. And she seemed to have lots of stomach upsets and even diarrhea. Aisha began to lose weight. 
and they worried that she might have an eating disorder. Winston seemed to be getting even more obsessive about his training, and his short temper seemed to be getting even worse. Winston got into a fight outside a club with three skinheads. Police took down details, but no charges were pressed. He was let off with a warning. I have nightmares, sometimes about Winston, sometimes imagining that they are attacking me. When I go out, I, I don't feel safe. I was leaving when one of them pushed me. I tried to ignore it, but then he started on the racist jokes. He deserved this. I'm glad I asked him. His friends piled in, but I held my own. No one treats me like that anymore. Winston got into worse trouble a few weeks later. He accidentally spilled somebody's drink. They responded with a racial slur. Winston reacted by lashing out and seriously hurting the man who had to go to casualty. This time, the police charged him. Aisha's performance in school continued to slide. A head teacher called home to say that they were seriously worried about her. Winston fought back, but look where that got him. I hear mum say he might have to go to prison. I can't cope. I have flashbacks and I feel frightened for no reason. Sometimes I think I'm going mad. I don't know why I did it. I just lost it. It was like standing outside myself, watching someone else go crazy. Aisha and Winston's parents were at a loss to work out what had gone wrong with their children. Neither child seemed willing to open up to them. Eventually, Aisha developed a relationship with a learning mentor who encouraged her to tell her parents what had happened. And now, with all the facts on the table, the kids could finally get some decent help and support. I go to the young persons group now. They do drama and computers, and they have counsellors you can talk to. Before it happened, I never used to think about my colour, but now I do. I'm still frightened sometimes, but now I don't let it stop me. Aisha told them all what happened. My mum and dad made me see a counsellor. I've talked things through. I understand why I reacted the way I did. I just hope they give me another chance and that I don't end up in prison.